we started this symposium, the international symposium, three days back, and uh, with, with the hope that we will be able to discuss many topics about education, with the hope that we will bring together the educators within ISKCON from different parts of the world. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the conference, and I keep reiterating this point, that this symposium is a starting point. So we've had several starts. I just sincerely pray to His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada, and to Sri Radha Madha, Sri Panchatattva, Narsingadev, Prahlad Maharaj, that this start may not have pauses. And that's my earnest request to everybody who's gathered here. We talked about many initiatives. We looked at various perspectives. Now, as they say, please take charge. Charge. The future of this movement depends upon the educators. And you must take charge. I, and of course, somebody was telling me, just like a feast, when it's served, you honor it. But there's a lot of effort that goes behind preparing this feast. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank a few devotees, without whom this would not have been possible. So I'd like to invite first, how do we do this? Okay, all right. So uh, I'd like to invite first uh, His Grace Shesha Prabhu on the stage. Our Minister for Education. <laughs> Would it be possible, Mataji, that we can actually bring a chair or there is a table here? So if the table can be put above, then it will be easier for giving that away. Or give it to me. I'll, I'll hold it and I'll keep it here. The table might be actually this we can manage without that. So we, we do want to we do want to honor all the devotees who put together a lot of hard work in putting this conference together. Let me first start with with uh, Mitra Mataji who kindly helped us with all the communication. So Mitra Mataji, would you please come up and receive? <laughs> Shesha Prabhu, would you kindly give a box of Mahaprasad and a Pavitra? I think they'll have to go around because there is no exit. Thank you so much. Tramatji. I'll also like to invite Mahaprabhu Chaitanya Prabhu on the stage for his efforts in helping us go through the presentations. Thank you. Now, I must mention the name of one, one devotee who's really worked very, very hard. We had a bit of a situation in January where we were really wondering, there was a bit of a logistics issue, and we were wondering how Krishna we're going to put this together. And there was much to be done, and somehow by Krishna's mercy, Sri Janavi Mataji came along. For those of you who are not familiar with Sri Janavi Mataji, if you want to look at, you want to meet somebody with Enormous amount of energy, enthusiasm, always a smile on her face, always ready to serve. She is an embodiment of that. And her service, her service was enabled and supported very, very gracefully by Ram Anjaneya Prabhu, her husband. If Ram Anjaneya Prabhu is here. Okay. Ramanjana Prabhu was very kind, very supporting. And everything that we see here set up has been done by Sri Janavi Mataji and her team. 
Now I'll request Shri Janavi Mataji to hand out. I would like you to hand out to all these wonderful devotees who who worked in putting this together. They've been running around with the mic. They've been sitting outside. They've been serving prasadam. They've done everything that you can imagine. They're sometimes registering if they're not enough servers, they're serving you. I like to read out the names of these very, very wonderful girls. And some of them are like my daughters, you know. Omkar is my, my daughter's best friend. Uh, Krishna Priya, where is she? This, our photographer, our photographer, Krishna Priya. She wants, please come, we'll take your photo and after that you can continue service. Three and a half years back, four years back, uh, I, played, I played with Krishna Priya volleyball in Smith School. Okay, Ladini Shakti is here. Ladini Shakti. Omkar. Besides her hard work here, she also has the title of the fastest runner in her previous school, right? <laughs> Leela Nanda, Hare Krishna. Harini, Harini is not here, but we are going to save her Pavitra and Mahaprasad for Harini to be handed over to her. Narayani, Narayani is there serving. And Vishnu, where is Vishnu? Yes, Hare Krishna. <laughs> She's from Alachua. From Alachua, thank you. I would just want to say that when I thought about organizing this program, there were two options get adult volunteer devotees and wonderful devotees. That will be amazing adults soon. <laughs> and I taught the pros and the cons, right? And because this is assembly of teachers, I thought that the students would be a very good way to show that what you all are producing. And with the organization of the festival, I hope that it's proven that we are doing a good work. So please, they were almost all of them are my students, and I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Shri And there are more names to be read. Vishnu, is Vishnu here? Is it done? Vishnu is done. Lalita, Lalita is here. Harini, please come on stage. Krishna Nandana, he's in Guruko. We'll deliver it to him. Thank you. And where is where is Yagi, the man behind the scenes who's been running around quite a quite a bit? Where is your brother? He's hiding. Why is he hiding? We should somehow or the other find him and get him here. Shori Prabhu, would you be so kind? <laughs> To get him from his hiding. In the meantime, the other other devotees who have helped, Govinda, Balaram, Prasadam, they're trying to arrange Prasadam, Sohan, Nitai. Yes. So these are the devotees. And uh, yes. And I must uh, also mention the name of my wife. Indira Sakhi Devi, <laughs> who also served quite, quite endlessly for this and of course tolerated me during my periods of insanity uh, in organizing this conference. Um, I must uh, thank you all for coming. It's an effort to be sitting here, but oh, here you are. Yagi. Hare Krishna.
Thank you so much. Eh? Is um, Pranath Prabhu still here? Pranath Prabhu is not here. I was thinking about repeating his joke. Do you remember about the donkey? <laughs> How many of you remember the donkey joke? <laughs> Organizing a conference within ISKCON and getting educators together is not easy. <laughs> And in this effort, in this effort, I must have, must have offended several devotees. I sincerely apologize in public if I have done so. It was not intended. And I hope that next time I will not do so. Not offend any devotees. If I have done so, please forgive me. I did want to, before I leave the stage and hand over the mic to His Grace Shesha Prabhu to off, offer the closing ceremony. He inaugurated, he started the ceremony. I like to, I do want to formally offer my obeisances to all the devotees who are present. And in case if I've offended somebody, please do forgive me and please accept my Vaishnava pronouns. Request you to offer some closing. Thank you very much, Tapan Mishra Prabhu, for taking us through these three days. It was very um, enlightening for me, and I'm, I'm so happy that all of you came out in the numbers that you have. Uh, what is going on in ISKCON education is simply amazing, and it's due to the amazing work and sacrifice of all of you. Often when I speak to teachers, I don't have to remind them how this profession of teaching and education is not one where you get rich, at least monetarily. But I don't think that there's anything that can really match the feeling of satisfaction that you get when delivering knowledge to your dependent students. And we had such a wide cross-section to see that dynamic work uh, in these past three days. Uh, we've also had, I talked to the um, Mayapur TV devotees here and asked them how it was going, what the numbers were. They were surprised at the numbers. Uh, the number 50 was uh, one that uh, was regularly reached for devotees around the world participating through the internet. Uh, it just indicates that there's a lot of interest, need out there, and support. It, it, it may not be financial support, I don't want to kid you that way, but as far as supporting you and what you're doing to help them to spread Krishna consciousness, to help children develop, I think that will always be there, and I hope that the Ministry of Education can continue to put on these events. Mayapur is, um, is uh, of course, the international headquarters of uh, ISKCON, and so it's a natural place to do it. And uh, we can draw local residents as well as pilgrims coming from around the world to these kind of conferences. So first one here. Uh, as was mentioned in the reports, we've done other conferences elsewhere in the world, but Mayapur is always special. And um, if we can do it again, uh, I don't want to give a say next year or anything like that. We'll see in, in our planning, but um, we should definitely get together again, bring more people with us. There's bigger venues, and we can get more devotees involved. And just finally, let me just say the top of Mr. Boo made a very good point. And his point was is that we're doing what we can, as much as we can. He said 50%. We're doing our 50%, but you also have to do your 50%. It's a partnership here. Uh, if we work together, ISKCON, Ministry of Education, doing what it can, 
and you as individual devotees reciprocating and trying to do what you can, I don't think there's a limit to what we can actually achieve for Srila Prabhupada uh, around the world, uh, stemming from uh, a meeting here in the world headquarters of Sridham Mayapur. So thank you all very much for coming and participating. And uh, I hope you uh, had a good experience here. Uh, do we have a feedback box or something? People can give their feedback. So any of the uh, organizers. They can do it on the, on the website itself. Oh, wow. Yeah, use the website. That website's great. You know, I'll tell you that. That's really, and make sure you register on that website. All the educators, make sure you register there. And give us your feedback on what happened here over the last three days uh, so that we can make a, an improvement for you. So thank you all very much. Hare Krishna, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you. I must mention the name of one more person who's not present here, but he, he helped us a lot. His name is Bhakti Vinoda Nuga Prabhu. If you've not met this personality, you must meet this personality. He's the one who runs behind. He organizes the ILS, the SGGS, all of these uh, infrastructures that he's created. And when Sri Janavi Mataji and we were trying to find out how are we going to handle the local situation in terms of, you know, discussing with various people, the prices, etc. Bhakti Prabhu came in and he took care of everything. He knew exactly who to talk. And I'm sure that with his efforts, he must have at least saved us 20% of the budget, if not more, just by his efforts. So let's please thank everybody by chanting Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We'd like to invite you all now for Krishna Prasad, which will be served in the same area that we serve each time and uh, hope that you will encourage us with your volunteer participation with the ministry. I shared the chart in the morning and I was inspired when Prabhu was saying, I said, I must leave this request again. Please help the ministry so that we can help you and help ourselves. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.